Okay, so this is a point and click, basically, um, of, um, um, let's see, Nam, uh, Nam Chomsky, uh, Return to U of A. So, by Lori Harmer, U of A College of Social Media of Sciences, uh, February 24, 2015. And this is, um, I think that's him, I think that's Nam Chomsky, uh, Nam Chomsky Far Right. So that is him, right there. And, um... Yeah, I, I like to think about society. I, I, you know, I like to do that. And, uh, Chomsky Live at, at Tucson Festival of Books. And when I'm Chomsky spoke at the university, uh, 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 like a rocket concert. Chomsky fans, young and low, in line for hours for a chance to see him. And hundreds more were directed to follow rooms to watch the lecture on big screens. This year, the Tucson Festival of Books brings another opportunity to see Chomsky, where we're now in with intellectual and political activists. Mm, well, uh, so this looks, um, this kind of looks like what I've been thinking about um, after these open mics and after the comedy open mics, musical open mics, and everything else. Um, so I think I might go to this just to see. Um, and I think he's from uh, MIT also, and this is a contact if you want to uh, go there, basically. So yeah, um, this is really, um, this looks like a very interesting, you know, informative, um, uh, considered by some to be the most intellectual, most important intellectual life and the Ellis of a comedian. He will speak during this year's Tucson, Tucson Festival of Books in mid-March. So that's coming up. That's coming up in, um, I don't even know when, March 15th. On March 15th, Chomsky will be featured in a four-point session and a conversation with Ben Chomsky at U of A's Sentinel Hall. Doors on the 3 Free tickets are available on the same day beginning at noon at Sentinel Office, box office. Details are available online. Oh my god. They're free tickets. Look at this guy. Now, uh, Chomsky at Tucson Live. And, um, so yeah, Sunday, March 15th, 4 to 5 p.m., doors open at 3. So basically, yeah, getting a ticket is going to be hard. But, um,. Can I be reserved in the band uh, or by calling uh, Because of the anticipated demand, this, this session is being hosted at Central Hall, a special large private venue, C2400, with a different ticketing system from other sessions at Two Cents Festival of Books. Only event sponsors are reserved seats in Sentinel Hall. So, this guy does, a, he's very interesting, though. Um, he's just like a, a bit like a David Bowie of music, um, I'm thinking. So, um, so yeah, he's pretty, uh, pretty interesting, um, guy, I'm trying to, Nick Goldwich, let me see, okay, so U of A College Social Behavior Science is partnering with Tucson Festival Books and the Nation Magazine to bring Nam Chomsky to Tucson. The Nation is celebrating its 150th anniversary with events around the country, including Tucson. The festival, a conversation with Noam Chomsky, will include an interview with Jan Nichols, the Washington D.C. correspondent for the Nation. For the Nation, that's big. They will be they they will be introduced by the Dean of College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, John Paul Jones III. John Paul Jones III. That sounds. Um, I don't know who that is, but yeah, this is pretty much. Um, Frequently asked questions. How can I get tickets to attend Chomsky session in Tucson? Uh, excuse me. Can seats be reserved? Okay, so can I ask, can I ask Nam Chomsky a question? To ask a question before or after the session, go to uh, da, 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 in advance with the web browser. Enter your questions, see other questions that have been asked. Throughout the app, you can vote on your favorite questions. The questions uh, with the most votes uh, will rise to the top and are most likely to be addressed. Oh my god. Jesus, Lord. Okay, with the advent of technology, I mean, what do you think of the introduction of universal basic income to capital societies? HDG. 
I'm going to actually put my name down here. Uh, is this it? Is this all the questions? Votes one, votes three. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, Lord Christ. Um, ooh, so... So going to his website, see how simple this is? This is literally like the uh, Bentley and the uh, Apple sites. You know, very simple, but very good product. Very good product here. Uh, because he's uh, from Hiroshima to drone warfare. And then, uh, and that's specific room. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> The Logical Structural Linguist Theory, New York, language. I think this is all the books he wrote. Jesus, Mother of Lord Christ. Well, let's pick a question out of what he, let's see. The New Military Human Lessons from Kosovo, Manuel, limited preview. Okay, so I think that if you ask something from his book, he would be able to answer it. If you don't, He's not going to be able to answer it because he didn't. He doesn't know. <laughs> All right, let's see. The Washington uh, faces um, language learning the debate between Jan and Chomsky. Um, let's see. Let's do medical marijuana. Let's try that. <laughs> Would you smoke some medical? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Current issues on linguistic theory. Let's see what he has here. Uh, power systems. Conversations on global democratic uprising. Any channel in the U.S. Empire. Interviews with David Barr from New York. Western Church from Hiroshima. It's drone warfare. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to ask him about something about drone warfare because I've had issues with that. People have asked me about that. and um, Definitely the idea box. Um... I'll put that question in the idea box and uh, make uh, make Noam Chomsky answer it. <laughs> I'm just going to tear this thing out and I'm going to make him answer this damn question. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty serious about these questions, though. Um, I'm not you know, bullshitting anyone, so... Um, okay. La, 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 la. Okay. Alright, so, this is the, this is the, let's see. So this is an amazing event. Um, this is very amazing. Um, or you know what? Let's see, drones. You know what? Let me, the science of language, interviews with Jen. Um, hmm. 9 11. Was there an alternative? Well, hmm, I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, let's see. Drone warfare. Okay. I know that the U.S. government has drones and it does bomb places, and that's, I guess, good. Um, I don't know. I have not an idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, so looking at drone warfare, which that interests me, that's like 2015, that's like uh, futuristic, very futuristic. So um, let's see, let's do Google, and I don't know if that's his book actually, so let's just check this out real quick, and let's, 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 let's oh shit, page not found, okay, oh that, it, it might have been new, probably that's why, um, so, okay, so let's, you know, um, let's see here, the science of language, the science of language in the of John, Pyrosis. So yeah, basically, okay, it's not here, it's not yet here, so I'll just do drone warfare, warfare, and let's ask that a question. Let's just see what, you know, google.com, and, I mean, he wrote about it, he knows the idea, he knows the topic, so we can just ask him, basically, 
Okay, and the first thing pops up is Avon's Drone War, the New Yorker. So let's just check this out. Um, um, the Unblinking Stare, New Yorker. Okay, so at the peril, and this was written November 24, 2014. At the peril conventional hotel in uh, Peshawar, a, con a concrete tower and a garden. Okay, so they basically. So let's just pull this from uh, the New Yorker. Since then, he went on. He was photographed about a partial record of the dead, the wounded, and the. So this basically this sounds kind of like a Neil Bernstein type of guy, uh, the father of uh, life art, as I'm coining him. And armed drones are slow-moving pilot aircrafts equipped with cameras, listening devices to. Last year in a speech at the National Fund, drones had killed civilians. He called this incident as heartbreaking tragedies, which would haunt him and those in chain of command as long as we live. But he went on to defend drones as the most discriminating aerial bombers available in modern warfare, preferable to pilot aircraft or cruise missiles. Jets and missiles cannot linger to identify and avoid non combatants before striking and the president said they like to cause more civilian casualties and more outrage so i mean this is this is what i before i looked at drones this is what kind of read um if you're not planning to break the law why should you care okay um okay so um okay uh bombs and drones and vice versa for in washington's foreign policy and defense establishment Secretary so Larry Clinton wholeheartedly back the drone campaigns in Pakistan, Yemen, Republican Hog John McCain, or they criticize the president in effect and indecisive. Also, are also in, uh, enthusiastic, but do drones actually represent a humanitarian advance in air combat, or do they create a false impression of ex exitude? Ex Exocitude, um, and do they really serve the best interests in the United States? So, and da, 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 da. so basically, pulling pulling this from the from uh, the New Yorker here, which is uh, pretty pap, which writes about um, which basically it has writers. Uh, let's see what it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know. I saw the magazine, and this is online. So, um, okay. Da, 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 da. If I really want to, I could be a saint if I really want. To. Okay. So, so basically, this is just you know um, explanation and it, taking a side. I don't know if you can take a side or not, but. Um, so yeah, going through all of this, exactly why and how this change may have or like much else about the evolution of drone warfare remains a shield from public examination, essential fact, about how often targeting failed and innocents died and why. In the Bush administration and the bombs are alike, uh, secrecy has defeated public candor and accountability. So, uh, so basically, I mean, taking a, you can take a side definitely um you cannot take a side i mean it, it it honestly um you know it's it's pretty much you know you can take a side you cannot take a side but the reality is you know do they do they kill people are the facts there um i didn't look maybe the facts are there um 2006 bush was my claim Director. Yeah, I'm looking at this as just like, you know, a person looking at uh, uh, the paper, also my moments of cities, of Miranasha, one of North Wazir, Wazir the town's officially recalled uh, the Raylan ambitious mapping and analysis effort involving satellite photography of Marash residents. The National Secretary Agency searched for the code words in archive transcripts and phone calls in order to discover undetected plots and to pinpoint locations of Al Qaeda leaders. Soon after, it was also supporting American drone strikes in North Wazaristan. In July 2008, President Bush approved a plan 
uh, proposed by Hayden to increase drone strikes in Pakistan. Uh, soil mainly in north and south and fires pouring into Afghanistan from Feda without much interference Pakistan to attack American troops. So this is basically politics. The reality is do drones kill innocent people? Um, you know, if they do, it's bad and you know they, they probably do. Um, my whole thing is the technology part of it. Um, you know, uh, can you make the technology that accurate where, um, basically, you know, you, you don't bomb, but you shoot, um, you shoot basically, um, that's my, as far as technology goes, and you basically get one person, um, so that, that's my thing, my thing is all about technology, it's not like saying the government's bad or the government's good or whatever the hell else is going on in the government. But, um, you know, that's their job. They do their job. I do my job as looking at technology and saying what's good or not. So that's my job. So the government has its job. I have my job. And that's, you know. So, yeah, uh, this is a New Yorker. And la da 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 So... I mean, yeah, it says that uh, innocent people are killed. So I guess my question would be, as a, um, as a technology person, uh, would be, do, um, uh, will there some, in, you know, um, asking, you know, to, to talk about, you know, any kind of other technology, which does not... Um, which literally is, you know, why can't you use a gun to shoot? Why do you have to use a, you know, uh, a rocket to blow up the place, basically? So that, I guess that's, that would be my question to, to Nam Chomsky. Um, and I'm going to write that. And I guess people are going to vote and they're going to be like, you know, hey, you know, um, this guy's got, this guy's got a good point, hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, and this is a long, well, it's pretty much, I didn't raise you to steal tacky crap. I didn't raise you to steal tacky crap. So they, they have a bunch of these pictures here, and uh, that's fine. Like, you know. Um, you're wrong, including criticism you have received in uh, international wars and right groups. So only casualties may have motivated him. Last year, Titan targeting oversight by secret, innovating. Um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, I'm I'm basically I'm never citing I'm with this person or I'm with this person. I'm just me, and I am just uh, like I love technology and that's what I go for. And I say, hey, that's freaking awesome, or hey, you know, um, that that's where I'm coming from with this. So, um, so and, it, and it goes on to talk about basically, you know, Steve Cole, a staff writer is a Dean graduate of journalism, Columbia University, and reports the issue of uh, intelligence, national security in the United States and abroad. So he reports the issue. So basically, you know, he's not for or against it. He's just stating the facts. And, um, you know, facts are facts. I mean, I'm talking about, like, IT facts, you know. As far as social facts go and all this crap with social whatever, I care 0% about that. Um, unless it's, you know, it's hurting people and it's not good, but my thing is, um, my thing is basically, you know, so asking Nam Chomsky, let's see here, let me check him, okay, let me ask him here about, um, so let me ask him, do you think that drones will be... Uh, do you think that drones will be um, changed to just um, uh, a gun and not a rocket launcher? Okay, so, damn it. Not a rocket launcher. Okay, simple question. Um, so, and this guy, we, we got 13 on his, with the advent of technical automation in recent years, what do you think of the int uh, introduction of universal basic income into capitalist societies? So, well, what do you think of a new uprising to refuse to pay taxes as 
Consicious object or to U.S. military industrial complex. Can we bank on the combination of U.S. versus Cassius Clay, a recent Citizens United States case, to make a religious objection to the uber, um, uber ubiquitous U.S. killing war agenda? In human intelligence environment, you note know that markets disregard for environmental externalities. Some economists suggest we internalize nature service like carbon sequestration by giving them value and integrating them into the market. For example, carbon credits for preserving forests. Will that plan work? If not, where do we look for alternatives and how we implement them? So, um, Jesus Christ, uh, what do you think of the Keystone Pipeline and problems going to go in the future? Okay. So my question is, do you think that drones will be changed to just a gun and not, to, and not a rocket launcher in the near future? In the near future, um, if yes, um, uh, what uh, advancements, advancements, what advancements to technology do you need um, do you and you um, basically does does the does the government does the government need does the government need in in having a basic gun on the drone. So when you have a target, so when you have a target, you shoot only the um, terrorist target and not innocent people, which I've heard there were innocent people shot and there were bombings and I saw it in movies and I read about it. So, you know, and, and not innocent people. So, so that's my question. And I guess, um, uh, what is your uh, projection Projection to when this will uh, be made. And um, and basically disregard if this is already if this is already made though, um, please tell us why people are saying that innocent people are dying. Thank you. Big fan of yours, Mr. Chomsky. Okay, so, and basically, uh, and this is Edgar Zotov, and I'm basically the CEO and, uh, of BLDS, and this is um, Blue Lorikey Design Studio. It's a limited liability company, LLC. So, okay, this is my question to Mr. Chomsky, and... Um, you know, just seeing, just seeing his basically, you know, response to this, and um, you know, maybe I don't know something, maybe I don't get it, maybe, uh, maybe the question needs to be more specific. So, so let's check this out. Let's see, you know, what what kind of, you know, um, what kind of, you know, input I get. So let me submit it and let's check this out. Um, okay. Okay, and I don't know where that went. I think they're checking it. So, I don't know. I basically put in what I, you know, my main thing. And, um, 
basically what what you know about technology what worry what makes uh, excuse me what make shit, what makes me worried about technology basically so yeah um <laughs> conversation with Sean Mamsky, march 15th at the university of arizona college of social and behavioral sciences i'll just go here University of Arizona College of, of Social and Behavioral Science, University of Bio. The University of Arizona's College of Social and Behavioral Science is partnering with Two Cent Festival Books and the National Magazine to bring Nam Chomsky Two Cent, March 15th. The nation is celebrating its 150th anniversary with events around the country, including several sessions, Two Cent Festival Books. During the festival session, a conversation with Chen, Nam Chomsky, John Nichols from the nation, okay, um, we'll interview. Uh, from the nation, will interview Chomsky about his book, Masters of Mankind, Essays and Lecture, 1969 to 2013. They will be introduced by the Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, John Paul Jones III. For more information about the session, please visit sbs.arizona.edu Chomsky. The interview will be recorded and posted online. Relevant questions from the conversation are encouraged. Uh, vote for your favorite question. Those with the most votes, uh, uh, votes are may be addressed, uh, may be addressed uh, uh, during the session. Questions are mo uh, moderated and inappropriate, co inappropriate content uh, 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 will not be included. So, you know, so hopefully, hopefully they pick my question. Um, I'm hoping. Um, uh, President, you're familiar with the father uh, on issues. Uh, Rand for president. Are you just a critical of Rand? Um, uh, how should Mexico react to the disappearance of 43 student teachers? I don't know. I think they were looking at his book. I mean, if I, I honestly, um, uh, it, that was probably in his book. I mean, there she went to. I don't know if I have to read his book and get the you know exact question from there. But um, excerpt not of it. I think let's see if this is on eBay. Um, let's just see if this is on eBay, basically. Um, let's see. Let's go to eBay.com and let's go to let's go to that. Okay, on Western terrorism from Hiroshima to drone war for Nam Chomsky, eighteen thirteen. Okay, so I don't know if I order the book, if it'll get free standard shipping. Yeah, so this is standard shipping. You know, it's going for 1813. Brand new. Um, damn. I wish someone could give me a book where I can buy it. I wonder if it's in the store. Um, so 2000, I think this thing is in the store, actually. I think I'm going to... Uh, I guess uh, what bookstore is Barnes and Noble. So if you go to Barnes and Noble here, um, BarnesandNoble.com, um, Barnes and Noble. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's type. Let's just check that out. Um, let's check this out, man. Let's, okay, paperback for fourteen dollars. Wow, 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 wow. And I don't know if he, if he's gonna have book signings there, but this guy looks really developed. Whoa, look at all this. This is all the books he wrote. Look at all these books. Jesus, mother of Lord Christ. Whoa. Chronological list from 1957. And this guy's writing um, uh, uh, basically all this stuff. So, so yeah, this is the kind of stuff that interests me. You know, this is what I really think about. I don't think about crap. And uh, so, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chomsky info. So, see, this is why he doesn't even need a good website. He's got his, he's got everything together. It's black and white. He doesn't need anything else. It's his product. It's his product that's freaking good. Chomsky.info. It's even info. It's not even selling anything. It's Chomsky.info. Books, articles, 
I mean, this guy's got it together. You have companies with their sh with their uh, amazing websites, and they don't do shit for for society or humanity or where the hell the world's going. Look at this. That is some deep, deep stuff right there. Whoa, debates. Debates. He's had the, the guy has had debates. Jesus, mother of God, Christ. The, this guy's a freaking hero, genius. Whoa. Oh, Anchomsky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy has some real good stuff going on. Wow. Wow. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty amazed, like, by all of this that I'm seeing. Interviews. Syrian. Okay, so, wow, this guy is just like, whoa. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is the kind of truth that kind of like, yeah, this is freaking awesome. This is what I mean. This is... This is going to, like, change the world and change everything and change society and humanity and... Wow. Um, and about... Let's see about... Okay, about Chomsky's and Chomsky was really created by Pablo Safini. Let's see this guy. Let's see Pablo Safini. Pablo Staffarini. See, look at this site. Look at how simple... Just look at how simple this all this is. It's a it's a it's a, like a blah. It's he doesn't need anything else. This guy's a freaking genius, freaking hard worker. He's got a WordPress site. He doesn't need anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about as far as sites go. This is what exactly you need to have. Look at that. Uh, that's some stuff right there going on. Pablo Stefini contact. So yeah, this guy's got everything together. This guy's got it going on, okay? Powered by WordPress. He's using WordPress. He doesn't need that fancy crap. He's using WordPress. Jesus. Jesus. Let's see if my question has been approved yet. Um, I think it may be too simple. I don't know. So, yeah, I think my, my question may have been too simple, but... Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so yeah, based love U of A. U of A is awesome. This is a uh, College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Um, Nam Chomsky there. He, that's him right there. That's his face. It says Chomsky. Chomsky live at Tucson Festival of Books Sunday, March fifteenth, four p.m. 4 to 5 p.m. doors open at 3 p.m. U of A Sentinel Hall. The, the, uh, the U of A College of Social and Behavioral Sciences is partnering with Tucson Festival of Books and Nation Magazine to bring Nam Chomsky to Tucson. The nation is celebrating its 150th anniversary with events around the country, including Tucson, the, festi the festival session. A conversation with Nam Chomsky will include an interview with Jen Nichols. Okay, correspond nation. Uh, they will be introduced by Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, John Paul Jones III. So... Like, uh, and look at the U of A website. This thing is, is really interesting. It's it's kind of like the Apple site, but it's got the red. It doesn't have uh, um, the gray. So um, that's freaking awesome right there. So um, this is a place, Sentinel Hall, and it's free. It's free. Look, general admission ticket. General admission Tickets are free and will be available at the Sentinel Hall box at noon on Sunday, March 15th. So you guys better get there noon. I'm going to put this in the idea box. And, uh, March 15th at around 12 at Sentinel Hall, basically. Sentinel Hall. Um, Sentinel Hall. And this is located at 1020 East University Boulevard, 
and take Speedway Blur and left. Uh, so taking Speedway West Park Avenue, turn left. Park Avenue, turn left. Um, from from the west, take Speedway Boulevard, East Park Avenue, turn right. Um, oh, that's west. That's west. Um, east is east. You're turning left. And you're turning... You're turning that way, turning right to Oracle, and to I-10 South, Speedway, oh, I-10, okay. So I-10 is known, you know, that's uh, that's easy. If you will, or travel east to Park uh, Avenue, turn right. Okay, so so that that's the, um, that's the idea there. Um, the Arizona State Museum, Sentinel Hall, Okay, so, 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 so that's basically the idea, uh, how to get there, you know, buy your car. Um, so you can definitely get there, you know, buy a car. So if we're looking at maps, you just type in uh, google.com, and we're going to do Sentinel Hall. Let's do Sentinel Hall. Sen Sentinel Hall and um, <sighs> all right. So this is a ten twenty East University Boulevard. Um, okay, let's see here. Ten twenty East you know, uh, East University Boulevard. Um, Tucson, Arizona, eighty five. Seven two yeah huh seven two four and they have the number just in case you want to call make sure that you know they have tickets at five two zero sixty one thirty three forty one so yeah um, that is that that's the idea um, yeah this is basically March fifteenth. March 15th, which is in five days. So you guys better get there. If you watch this video, you better get there. <clears throat> so yeah, this, this literally, you know, getting this from the Barnes and Noble, that would be a very good idea. Um, that would be like, you know, a godsend basically, um, which I will try to do and get book from Barnes and Noble for signature. I mean, this is in the library. Um, and this book is maybe maybe in library. Okay. Um, maybe it's in the library, so, um, I'm gonna try to, let's actually, you know what, let's do a library search. Alright, google.com, so let's do a library search, um, Tucson Library, Tucson Library. Um, okay, so let's see. Comet's Tale, How the Dog and the Rescue Save My Life. Alright, awesomeness. Woo, they have the, uh, the Star Wars thing at the library. Whoa. See, look, this is just like, like the Apple site. They got kind of like the white background. They got the white background type. And it's actually like, um, what, what you see, you know, you can click. So that's really interesting. It's basically like a Facebook page. So that's really cool. Um, so we're doing books and um, log in and browse. I don't see where you can type in the um, 
Oh yeah, search. Okay, so search we put in that in on Western territories. Oh, place on hold. Ooh, it's got uh, five stars and definitely five stars for a reason, probably. Um, probably for a reason. Um, all copies in use. Do three twenty. Wait a minute. Three twenty three through seven. Ah, so not going to get there in time. Um, probably by college students to use. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, we've added new features for flagging comments and reviews, and have updated our terms of use to accommodate these changes. Information about these and other changes available for flagging comments and reviews. So, so basically, we're doing what I guess. Um, I don't know what uh, Yelp is doing, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you know, and that's fine, like, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, they got the social media here. They kind of have it like a, like a, like a Apple or, um, or a, a Bentley site, basically. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, and they got that cool logo, Pima County Public Library. They got that awesome logo in there because I love branding. So, um, so yeah. Um, this looks very interesting. Edit to bag. I wonder. Nook book on your Nook. Nook devices. I wonder if there's a like a free one or something on Amazon. I wonder. Yeah. What? All right, so let's see if we can do... Um, free shipping to... Let, let's do... Um, dang, Prime, yeah, let's let's see if... Instant music, 2D shipping... I wonder if there's like a free... Start free 3 day trial. Amazon Prime. Prime members only do limited photo storage. Start a 30 day free trial, free two day shipping with Amazon Prime. So it's basically shipping, what they have with shipping. Uh, 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 I 
thought they had online books, manager content and device. I thought I could do that for free. And let's see. Damn. So yeah, basically doing that for free, I don't... Um, Uh, a collection of BM compare. A prime membership includes 500,000 free books. Enter the hollow, the hall, and the of the Kindle owners, London Library. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. So, looking at that, um, basically, let's see. Um, Okay, let's see. So yeah, this is on Prime. So I would get this title on Prime, basically. And let's do the Try Prime. Sorry, free trial. Enjoy millions of Prime members. Ooh, there's a free trial. There's a free trial on this son of a gun. Sheesh. Okay, um... Let's do that email and um, uh, let's do. Now oh, I'm a new customer, so basically, let's see if I can. Uh, I don't know if exists. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm going to log in and I'm going to do this. Um, Forgot, I actually forgot password. I guess I can do that. Um, RCK6NL. So there we go. Uh, if the email. Um, okay, so that's the idea with that. And I'm probably going to check my emails. Yeah, and this Leonard, Mr. Leonard Cohen is interesting. I'm reading about this guy. I guess he's a, a poet, novelist, and songwriter. So he was, he's pretty interesting to me because he does all these things. Um, no, Leonard Cohen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonard Cohen. This is published July 17, 2014. Mm. Directed by Dan uh, Britton and Dan Owen, 1960. And this is a great piece of no novel novelty right here. This is a great piece of work. Um, let, let's see, let's similar review. Leonard Cohen. In the best have been much more. He made seventy thousand dollars a year. Uh, this was shot. His proposal for the establishment of a hair asylum, etc. His proposal, uh, uh, his proposal for the establishment of an of a hair asylum. I don't know what that is. But. Best thing about this is that it shows how talentless and overrated this guy has always been. And this guy's got one. This guy's got the other. So if we check this out. Your sadness is showing. Is that what brought you here? I love many of the songs he eventually came to write, but the poems in the documentary are wince, wince, inducingly bad. Wince, inducingly bad. And this guy says you're an idiot. So, you know, that's just how that is. Um, and then we have this guy, interesting movie, I felt like being next to him, walking beside him in Montreal. I love Leonard Cohen, and I'm straight. Okay, wait a minute, I, I love Leonard Cohen, and I'm straight. Oh, so he was uh, gay, I guess, so, I don't know. Okay. I didn't know that, but, okay. Um, this little gem is a coffee break short of an hour and is worth the time it takes. And it really is. I really like what he wrote. Um, it was really interesting. So, 
Yeah, I'm I'm seeing like a lot of the um, a lot a lot of uh, well not a lot but poets there. Um, I think that's him right there. They are they have the gay uh, thing to the and uh, the the homosexual tendencies uh, to them. Um, I'm seeing a I'm just seeing that and uh, but okay so but anyway um, going back to Nam Chomsky. Um, Uh, on Western terrorism, from Hiroshima to drum warfare, Noam Chomsky, and, okay, so yeah, uh, this is, you know, this, look at how simple, look at how simple in 2015 this is, this is not branded, this is not branded at all, this thing is literally a good piece of work, and it doesn't need the branding, it doesn't even need it, okay, and that's kind of, that's what I'm doing also on my, um, on my website, um, let me check this out. Okay, so I basically wrote fame is cheap because it is, and I don't know why that's there. It's got BLDS, it's got the little copyright logo there. Um, and that's my logo, and that's it. That's what a brand is. It's your quality of your work. So, so that's what I'm talking about. Um, Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and it's got five stars because it's a really good book. It's taught in universities. It's a really good piece of work. Nam Chomsky. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. We can open the book. Let's see if my question was posted. It's a very simple question, but I don't know. I'm going to check if the question was approved or not. Alright. It's going in the idea box. <laughs> It's in the idea box. It's in there. It's going to be in there until March 15th. Alright. So yeah, it's basically in there. That's basically my drone question as far as, you know, IT goes. And, um... This is really, really interesting. I mean, this is like, that's basically his analysis, and I, and I love uh, that. So, so yeah, um, this has been 54 minutes, but this basically shows you what, what branding is, what branding should be. Um, because the first thing in branding is, you know, basically like shiny things and stuff. I mean, it is, but, you know. And if he's going to talk about drones and technology, that's what I pretty much want to listen to. Now, hopefully my question will get asked. Um... <laughs> I mean, Western, Western terrorism, non chancy world-renowned uh, uh, dissident, intellectual, uh, discussed Western power and propaganda with filmmaker and investigative journalist Andrew Vitek. 
discussion leads together a historical narrative with the two men's personal experiences, which led them to a life of activism. The discussion includes personal memories. I'm going down to look at the shifting forms of imperial control and the Western propaganda in the press. Along the way, the discussion touches on many countries of which the author has personal experience from Nicaragua and Cuba to China, Chile, Turkey, and many more. A blast of fresh air which blows away the cobwebs of propaganda and deception on Western terrorism is a powerful critique of the West's role in the world which will inspire all those who read to think independently and critically. And it says one dollar. So I don't know why it says one dollar, but it does, so. So I don't know. You think I just have to learn critically. I think you need to think. You need to always think independently and critically about what you're doing. Because if you don't, um, and that wouldn't be good. So, um, I don't know what the heck this is. This opinion right here. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah. So that's the idea behind Noam Chomsky. He's a um, um, dissident intellectual. Um, so I need to talk to this uh, filmmaker, Andrew. Uh, the tech, and I think he's just gonna be interviewed by, by the guy from Prime. Um, so the guy from Prime, um, let's see here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. UA Presents, the University of Arizona, and they have UA Presents, Home, Events, Ticket Info, so it's kind of like the Apple site. Son of Play Hope, one of the greatest performing artists of the past century, renovated and renowned 19. That was basically the um, location, like I said before. And I got it here. Zooming in. Yeah, so it's right. It's on University. And we have East Forth. Arizona Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, so. Um, ooh, we get to look, uh, we get to look on Western terrorism from Hiroshima to drone warfare, so. Um,
I don't see anything about drones at all. Um, but um, so basically, yeah, as far as technology goes and drones go, you know how that basically plays in, um, you know, and where that will go in the future. And um, propaganda unique, it's like uh, crimes of the West, uh, the like, yeah. So um, I don't see anything about let's see timeline. I don't I don't see anything about drones here. Uh, excuse me. God damn it. No, doesn't want to go to timeline. Okay, so let's just go here, and um, anything about drones? Um, oh, Nam Chomsky and Andre Lechek in conversation, Chomsky's office in MIT. June 14, 2012, copyright. Uh, Yuyawi Seiji. Hmm. So this is them. Whoa. This is going to be the setup right here on the 15th. Just in five days. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, looking at drones here. You've reached the end of your sample, okay. Okay. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I basically, I look at and I think, you know, why, look at look at the, the branding on that. That branding is simple as heck. That's some simple branding and that's all you need basically if you have the right stuff. So, and that, that's, you know, so branding has gotten to the point where, you know, um, it's a brand and it's, you know, um, I mean, it's good. Like, I like uh, quality shoes, but, you know, branding, I don't know, I guess I like branding, but, you know, this is branded old style, and um, I really like this, really love this uh, vintage type. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it gives you what, you know, uh, what you need, and that's all. So, you know, because it, it, it's not based on the cover of the book, it's based on what's inside the book, so that that's the idea with that. Um, so, and I've seen, I have not seen anything about dro uh, drones in here. Maybe I actually have to go and look at this uh, book. And it, I don't know. It's probably it may not be on shelves, but it should be in the book area. I may need to look at that today. No. Uh, or Prime has a free version. See, my question is still not here. They're still checking it, I think, or something. So, shit. So hopefully they have my question there and he can ask it. Um, and I get a lot of votes for it. Um, and these are pretty, pretty complex questions. I mean, you can get complex, but it's like, you know. From what city town in Europe did your family come from? My mother's maiden name is uh, 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 Chomsky, and her parents were from Kobrin, Russia, now Poland. So, mother's maiden name is Chomsky. I guess her first name is Chomsky, her last name is Chomsky. I think her last name is Chomsky, probably. And the last one, would you please consider running for U.S. president? If not, would you consider uh, uh, in, uh, in, in cow to Jean Elizabeth Warren? In cow to Jean Elizabeth Warren? And, okay, so, so that's the... Um, uh, Run for U.S. president. Not critical though. His father, Ron Paul, 
on some issues where he ran for president, or are you just critical as Ram? Okay, so yeah, you think okay. critical. All right, so these are the questions, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I am, I'm doing that too. Uh -huh. So these are the questions, and um, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So this one got 13 votes. With the advancement of techno technological automation in recent years, what do you think of the uh, introduction of a universal basic income into capital society? Universal basic income. Well, you know what? Let me let me let me see if he knows anything about well, uh, like Bitcoin. Well, let me let me ask that also. Um, do you think that that Bitcoin is a valid way of payment? If not, what other way of payment? Would you consider? Consider uh, for the U.S. Uh, meaning, you know, like um, uh, stamp. So, like finger, uh, uh, or like uh, <laughs> um, oh shit. Uh, Finger something. Uh, finger. <laughs> uh -huh, fingerprinting. Damn. Fingerprinting. Mm. Um. Or like um. Hand scanning. For the person's um, barcode, like in the movie Time. Okay, like in the movie Time. So I think that was a Justin Timberlake movie. Oh, in time, in time. Okay, so in time, Justin Timberlake movie, which was a great, great movie. I I was amazed by that movie. Um, in the future, people such as, um, stop aging at twenty five, but are engineered to live only one more year. Having the means to buy your way out of the situation is a shot at a uh, immortal youth. Uh, here, Will Sells finds himself accused of murder and on the run with a hostage. A connection that becomes an important part. Uh, of the way against the system. Okay, so and then they got a 6.7. I'm giving it a 10. And I'm going to recommend it also. Okay, so I, well, I don't know if I could give it. I don't know why I got a 6.7. Uh, I would have given it a 10. Um, Andrew Nicoli. Andrew Nicoli made it, so. You need to eat. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Okay.
um, Bitcoin is is a valid way of payment. If not, what other way of payment would you consider uh, for um, in in the U.S. hand scanning for the person's barcode? Um, <laughs> Like, like in the movie Time. Okay, so, you know, which that was a relevant point, you know, that's what could happen in the U.S. So, um, so let's just, let's do that basically. Um, let's do, um, and if he didn't watch the movie Time, <laughs> this is a summary, uh, summary of movie in Time. So that's a summary of it, basically. Um, okay, so that's a, uh, and we're gonna put a little summary down here. Since if you didn't watch the movie, in so in, uh, uh, in a future where people stop aging at 25 but are engineered to live only one more year, and then in this environment we've way out of the situation and a shot of mortal youth. Um, uh, but, yeah, deal with the video, okay? Um, ты знаешь, ты, ты лучше делай сама что-то, okay? Okay. Ага, да, 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 я ем, ага, yeah. Okay, in, in the future, people stop aging at 25, but are engineered to live only one more year, having the means to uh, buy your way out of the situation in the shadow of mortal youth. Here, will sales find themselves accused of murder and on the run with the hostage, a connection that becomes an important part of the way against the system. So, important part, way against the system, I, I don't know. Um, the government said it would, you know, it would implant chips, I guess, or something. Um, this, this is just funny. Um, it's just something that, you know, it could be done in society. Um, so, so, summary of in time. Okay. Okay. So, and I think that's a valid point. Um, and I, I, a lot of people know about Bitcoin. Um, so, that's like a marketplace um, for money. It changes, it fluctuates during the day. So, Okay, so we're going to submit that also, and we're going to see if that comes out. Um, okay, so basically based on a movie, you know. Um, uh, oh, okay. Ooh, do you think that drones will be changed to just a gun and not a rocket launcher in the future? If yes, what advanced technology does the government need in a basic gun on the drone? So, one year, okay, so it's got one vote. All right, so I basically have one vote. And, uh, meeting. All right. Get that. Um, Okay. So, so far we have one vote, and, um, no, oh, damn it, I forgot to put my name on the last one. Shit. Oh, well. Well, that will be kind of like, you know, um, <laughs> I put Edgar's OCO, Blue Lurky Design Suit LLC, so, um, damn, okay, well, you know, so everyone will know that I asked that question about the movie time and Bitcoin. So, to Nam Chomsky. Um, Oh, 
Okay, so they got one vote. I don't know, at least this guy's got 13 votes. Uh, and this is using the 2S voting system. Um, so, okay, so let's see if, you know, let's see who else votes basically for, <laughs> for this. Um, Okay. Yeah, that's how you change. That's how you solve the situation. I know. Ну да, ну конечно, да, я знаю. Ну конечно. Ага. Ну, я прошу. So far, I have one vote. It's already been an hour, 17 minutes. Um, uh huh. And this is the kind of videos that you have to do just to get. Да, я сделал, я это сказал тебе уже. These are the kind of videos that you need to basically spend, you know while analyzing uh, what you're doing, uh, because if you don't, then um, it's pretty much, it's not worth the, um, the time to watch the video, so. Okay. So this guy still has 13 votes, and um, with advancement of te technological automation in the recent years, what do you think of the introduction of a universal basic income into capitalist societies? So this is pretty much like Bitcoin, what are you talking about? Universal basic income, UBI, like Bitcoin. Um, so, hmm. Or like, you know, the barcode on the hand where you just scan it and then, you know, that's how much basically money you have on your account. Just like in the movie Time. If you look at the movie Time, so that's the idea with that. <laughs> Hopefully, oh, damn it. I mean, this is pretty simple, but so so far, this has one vote, like I said, and um, 
It's been an hour twenty minutes. This um, this is basically um, this explanation. Uh,
Okay, so it still has one vote. It still has one vote, and mm, this one has 13. So let's see here. Email. Okay, so let's see. All right, so basically, um, it still has one vote, and eh. um, well, I think that's a, a very good question. I mean, if I get more votes, well, do you think that? Oh, there we go. Do you think that Bitcoin is a valid way of payment? If not, what other way of payment would you consider in the U.S.? Hand scanning for the person's barcode, like in the movie In Time, summary of the movie In Time, and a future people stop aging at 25, but are engineered to live in a year. Um, all right, great. So, um, so yeah, this is uh, two valid questions, and if they, you know, they're they're pretty long, so if they get answered good, um. If there's better questions, you know, well, okay, well, I'm going to check up on this and, um, at the end of the day here, get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Um. So, yeah, and basically, um, I have the best company. I'm the CEO of uh, Blue Lurky Design Studio LLC. I have the best company in the world, and... Um, and yeah, that's just me. My name's Edgar Zotav, and um, 
um, you know, which I am the CEO. I am the CEO of the company Blurky Design Studio LLC, and I like that. Um, so, so yeah, both of these have ones, one vote. I don't, I don't know if you can, I don't know who votes it, you know, or maybe, oh, maybe the administrator votes. Oh. All right, so I don't know who votes these, but hmm, with advancement of tech, I don't know who votes these. I don't know how. Maybe the person who does this votes them. Maybe the questions are just bad. I don't know who votes these. Oh, you vote them. Okay, you vote these. So I'm going to vote mine. Ooh, I'm gonna vote mine. <laughs> Look at that. I just voted mine. <laughs> so basically, I just voted my uh, questions up higher. Can you believe that? I just voted my questions up. Wow. That, okay. So yeah, if, um, I'm going to probably include this voting uh, uh, on my page, and if anyone wants to vote, you can vote, any of my friends that I talk to, and uh, you can definitely vote, and, um, you know, so yeah, wow, two votes now, so actually people vote on these, so if people vote these higher, then they will be asked, so, so that's what I'm talking about, um, <clears throat> All right. Well, that's that. That's the idea with that. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna probably get Amazon Prime and, and probably read through the book um, and see what he has in there about drones. Um, but thank you for watching. And I'm gonna end the video with sheesh with this probably. It's a Weebly site that I have, and it's probably the simplest thing to use, um, which I can make changes, edits really quickly. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end with this. And um, it's uh, it's basically BLDS, uh, Blue Lurky Design Studio LLC, and it's copywritten. You have the C there. Okay, so um, that is copywritten uh, material. It's, uh, it's copyrighted material, basically, so um, that's the idea with that.
Uh, okay, thank you for watching. And someone should really, um, you know, someone should really vote on these uh, because that's you know you can your answer can get asked by Chamnamsky uh, at this um, or um, or uh, not, uh, uh, Nam Chamsky, you know, um, at the U of A. So that would be very cool. That would be very interesting. So this guy right here, Nam Chamsky, Nam Chamsky far uh, far right. Um, with the U of A's, Massimo, uh, Patali, Left, Tom, Beaver, and Simon, uh, uh, um, uh, Karimi. So that's him basically right there. That's uh, uh, Nam Chomsky. <clears throat> He's a far right guy. So, all right. Okay, that's the idea. Okay.